Grizzly bears are, you know, for anybody who's seen them in the wild, they're kind of awe-inspiring. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're a majestic creature that, you know, you kind of wonder how they're making a living on the landscape. They uh, inspire a lot of awe and, and in me, curiosity. I guess when I think about grizzly bears and kind of what amazes me about them is just how tough and adaptable they are. And then just how many emotions they bring up within people. You know, some people love them, some people hate them, some people it's a combination of both. The Greater Yellowstone ecosystem is considered one of the last ecological strongholds of the wild American West, home to spectacular geologic wonders and iconic animals such as the grizzly bear. For many, the grizzly bear evokes awe and wonder and symbolizes wildness. To me, uh, grizzly bears kind of complete the landscape. Large predators are missing in the vast majority of, of lands in, in North America now. And grizzly bears in Yellowstone are, are still one of those few places where you still have the full complement of, of large carnivores. And with, especially with grizzly bears that are formidable predators uh, that inspire awe among, among people. Um, having them present on the landscape is unique. And, uh, and I think it, it represents some the wildness that, that this continent once had, and it's one of those few places where we still have that. Grizzlies were once found throughout western North America, but by the late 1960s they were only found in about 2% of their historic range in the contiguous United States. In 1975, grizzly bears in the lower 48 states were listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act because of continued range reduction and population declines due to human impacts. In the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, grizzly bear numbers had declined to perhaps fewer than 250. An interagency group of scientists known as the Interagency Grizzly Bear Study Team was created to lead efforts to better understand the status of grizzly bears in this region. The study team, now led by the U.S. Geological Survey, has conducted research on this charismatic animal for over 40 years, perhaps the largest collection of scientific information on any bear species in the world. Scientists with the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, as well as federal and tribal partners, work together to provide wildlife managers relevant scientific data on the Yellowstone grizzly bear populations. Another important aspect of, of grizzly bears in this ecosystem is it, it, it makes you realize that without these animals, how empty a landscape actually is. And so to have these powerful animals on the landscape represents something truly unique to, to me and I think to a lot of other uh, people that, that are interested in, in grizzly bears and in Yellowstone. Today, the study team estimates that the population has rebounded to a minimum of 700 bears, and these bears are now delisted from the Endangered Species Act. Though much of the credit goes to the grizzly bear and its resilience over decades of management and landscape changes, rigorous science that informs effective management decisions is also part of the equation. Here is what the science tells us. Grizzly bears can weigh over 600 pounds and owe that to being an opportunistic omnivore. Their diet of over 200 food items, including plants, animals, and fungi, can shift quickly and enable them to adapt to changing food supplies in recent years. Though the study team monitors both male and female bears, it is the females that are the key to estimating the population. A grizzly bear can live for over 30 years but reproduces slowly which means that long-term studies are crucial to understand them biologically. Since the mid-1980s, science has shown that Yellowstone grizzly bears have increased in number and expanded their range. Ensuring the future viability of grizzly bears in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem will require continued public engagement along with the reliable scientific information that assists wildlife managers in conserving the Yellowstone grizzly bear.